okay, uh, doctor, uh, let's um, let's do this um, headache one. Yep. Okay, so we've got a foundation year doctor. You are a foundation year doctor in the rheumatology department. Uh, Emma White is a 60 year old lady who's been referred to the hospital by the GP with a headache. Uh, you don't have any other information and you've been asked to take a focus history, perform relevant examinations and discuss the initial management with the patient. Yeah, okay. Is that, is that all right? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so um, I'll just uh, start the timer. Okay, I'll start it now. So when you're ready. Yes, sir. Um, hello, I'm Dr. One of the junior doctors here at the department. Um, Hi. Confirm Hi. Your, can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Hi, my name's Emma White. Um, I'm 60 years old. And how do you want me to address you? Uh, just Emma is fine. Okay, Emma. So what brought you to the hospital today? Well, I've had this headache on the, my left side of my head for about three weeks now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So can you tell me a bit more about this headache? Well, it's just like, I just feel it. It's like a bit tender, you know, just like around here and here. Um, I've been taking a bit of painkiller, some paracetamol. It's not really helping. Um, and this headache, um, it was, it just happened three days ago, it has been progressively increasing. Yeah, I, I think it's um, more or less stayed the same, really. Okay. Is there anything, is is it staying on your left side of your head or is it going somewhere? Does it go to like to the back of your head, to your neck? No, not really. I think it's just, just there on the left side, kind of in my scalp and a bit down there, near to, like the jaw area as well. Oh, I see. Is there anything that you do that makes this pain worse? Yeah, I would say when I'm eating and talking, it makes it worse. Oh, I see. And is there anything that you do that makes it better? Not really, no. Um, can, you, can you grade the severity of this pain, like on a scale from 1 to 10, whereas 1 is the least severe and 10 is the most severe? Um, I'd say it's, yeah, I'd say it's about an 8. Oh, so this is very intense. I'm sorry to hear that. So are you feeling anything else apart from this headache? Um, not really. Just just the headache. I mean, uh, well, I see. I've got my right eye and problems there for the last week. Just like the last week, I noticed um, I'm not really able to see properly. On your right eye? Yeah. And you said the headache was on the left side, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. How How is your left eye? Are you seeing well from them? Yeah, I think my left eye is not too bad, actually. Just the right eye, okay. Uh, I haven't, like, any feeling any weakness, like problems when you're combing your hair or... Yeah, actually, I do. Because when I hang up the washing, uh, I really struggle with my shoulders. I feel a bit weak. And uh, yeah, definitely when I when I do comb my hair, I do um do notice um also my shoulders, you know, getting getting worse. Yeah, and anything that makes my hands go up like that. I oh, see. And do you have any any other problems that you're feeling like this light hurts you or any sound bother you? Does it make the headache worse? Or? Um, not really. No. You said your your vision on your left eye is not good are you feeling anything else in your eyes like are they watery are they burning no no did you have any any trauma to your head did you hit anywhere or no i haven't i haven't at all doctor it's just come out of nowhere okay do you, have you ever felt something similar before never before no never do you, do you consider yourself fit and well, or do you think you uh, have any, or do you have any uh, medical conditions that you're treating? Um, well, I have this condition. They said um, polymyalgia. Okay, are you, Poly are you polymyalgia? Polymyalgia, you mean? Yes, that's the one. Yeah. 
Are you are you taking any treatments for it? Uh, yeah, they gave me some steroids. I think one. Steroids? Are you still taking the steroids? Or? No. How long, how long have no. you taken them for? Uh, sorry, what was that, doctor? How long? How long have you taken the steroids for? Uh, I've been taking them for for a few months now, maybe six months. Are you st you're still taking them? Uh, yeah, once once a week. Once a week. Okay. Um, do you smoke, Miss Emma? Uh, no, I don't smoke. No. Do you drink any alcohol? Uh, occasionally. Apart from the from the steroids, are you taking any other medication? Uh, no. Do you have any allergies? No. Is there anyone in your family with some similar problem to that? Uh, no. Is there anything else you want to tell me about your problem, something you're feeling? Well, uh, the other thing is, I mean, apart from the headache um, and my eye, I have got a bit of um, muscle pain um, in my thighs. Okay. I noticed that as well. Not just my shoulders, but my thighs as well. Right, so, okay, you're going you're gonna to look after that too. So, um, so thanks for that. Thanks for being with me. I would like to do some examinations. Uh, I like to get your vitals, check your temperature, your blood pressure, your heart rate, your your respiration. I would also like to to check your do a neurological examination, see if any weakness. Also, check if there is any tenderness on the side of your of your head, and also check your vision. Right. Okay. Is that okay. Yeah, that's fine, doctor. Yeah, so do, do they find anything on this? Yeah. Uh, neurological examination is normal. Uh, what was the other thing you were going to do? Um, uh, there was high ESR. Okay. So you haven't done that. You haven't done that yet. But yeah, observation chart um, uh, is all is all fine. Okay. Yeah. So from from what you told to me, Miss Emma, um, sounds like you're having a condition that. Uh, could be potentially be uh, called giant cell arthritis, which is something that I'm afraid to say that's some serious condition that could lead to this loss of vision. You said you have a loss of vision on your on your right eye, which is not the affected side. So we might need to to look after this to to treat your other eye as well. So um, it's I, I know it's too much to take. You know, are you following me or with me, uh, Emma? Oh well. I mean, it's just just never ending. I mean, I just recently got diagnosed with polymyalgia. Now I've got been told I've got something else as well. Yeah, it's it's actually part of the same problem. It's like this inflammation in your body is actually inflamming your muscles and also inflaming your your blood vessels, your arteries. So this is a serious condition. You have to refer you urgently to see my doctor and ophthalmologist to check on your vision. Um, I'll check with my with my senior. We also might need to start you now on some strong steroids to prevent your, your vision. For your, it will also help with your muscle pain as well and weakness. Um, if, you're, if you're feeling like in pain now, we can also give you some painkillers from now. Uh, but it's very important that you see uh, an ophthalmologist. Uh, he might... They might do. They might start this treatment. They might also do some other investigations to confirm this diagnosis, such as biops from your arteries. Um, I would like to. Uh, I'd like to to follow up like urgently uh, with this referral now. So, if if you feel that you can't, you can't. I, I don't know how to do this now. Actually, <laughs> to do like the. Should should I ask them to to come back to me if they don't if they can't see the ophthalmologist or? Um. Yeah. Well, for for the safety uh, for safety netting. Is that for the safety netting? Yeah, I was just wondering how how they approach that, but yeah. So ba basically, with that I think I will just refer and give some steroids. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. I don't think. Um. Yeah. It was just. Um. I was going to say, uh, just as part of the role, I was going to say that I'm a bit fed up of steroids. So uh, I don't really want to take steroids. I mean, are they absolutely essential? Oh uh, yeah, they're definitely essential. Uh, especially because I mean, your your case is a bit like different because usually you have the loss of vision on the same side of of the artery that's 
committed. So in your case, it's more than urgent that you take steroids now because you have your, your good eye already compromised. So we need to, to save your, your other eye. Um, yeah. And you also need to take some, um, some low dose aspirin. So this could cause like some blood clots. It could increase your risk of having stroke or having a heart attack. So this is quite a serious condition that you need to look after. So I would also advise if you're feeling like any, any, any weaknesses, any pain in your, in your chest that you should also see urgently the, the hostel is sick. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So how, how do you, how do you feel that went? Yeah, it was quite, uh, I, I practiced this structure for headaches this week, but it's, it's really hard to follow it, but yeah, but thanks. Thanks for the practice. Oh, no, yeah, no, thank you. It's, um, that was, um, uh, that was excellent, wasn't it? That was, um, you've clearly been practicing and that shows, that just shows like how much practice, um, makes a difference and, um, just, just no hesitation there at all. Um, obviously you know, when you're in the exam, you don't have, you're not prepared for that exact case. But um, still, I think with your structure that you've got, you you can apply that to any kind of case and, and you can't really go wrong unless you, um, you know, forget like the major relevant issues that are in the, um, uh, in the case. Uh, but yeah, you picked up on all, all of the, um, all the, of the important issues, the steroids and the, the fact that they need to be uh, given high dose and uh, as soon as possible. Um, you obviously uh, identified what the diagnosis is, is, is probably likely to be. Um, and just the, the, the confidence just gives me as the patient, just um, it reassures me that you know what you're doing. Uh, so that's, um, that's really good. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you were asking um, towards the end about, you know, like safety netting and things like that. I think um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I mean, does anyone have, anyone have any comments about that? Specifically about the seat, the, um, the safety netting, like how you would apply that in that kind of scenario, because it is an urgent problem that she's come with. Can anyone suggest how you, how we would, um. No idea. I think we have to read this out. Safe netting. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see what the, what these answers say. Um. Because with the cancer, we know it's a two weeks time period, but with the rest of the urgent cases, what's the criteria we have to look this? I mean, this is the urgent, it's, it's the ur urgent case, yeah? Yeah. Or it's the emergency case? Well, this one is urgent. I, I, I mean, the fact that it's urgent because she's talking about having changes in her vision. And yeah. so she, she needs to urgently be given steroids and then be mm. referred. Yeah, um, so with the safety netting, it talks about, um, you know, loss of vision or worsening mm. of symptoms. You can't really go wrong if, 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 if you say, you know, just worsening of the symptoms. I think that's always a good thing to fall back on. Um, mm. Yeah. Um, any other comments by anyone at all? Yeah, um, like we did the three, the previous one, we were looked like very raw. There's no practice, nothing. So we all have problems, but the doctor has did really good job. I mean, the practice, so we all need the practice, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's the difference that practice makes. Yes. So he's, he's a good example of someone that, that, that's so practiced. He, and, um, he was, he was uh, seems like very confident. Yeah. And the flow was good. And he was asking and he was showing empathy as well. And he was yeah. responding to your problems as well. So it yeah. was really good. Yes. Yeah, picked up on all my cues, uh, yeah. you know, addressed them really well and thinking on his feet. And um, yeah, uh, and the you know, eye did all problem, the relevant investigations. Like you, you, you told the eye thing on the right side and the problem is on the left side. So usually this happens like this. It's, it's usually on the same side as the artery. It's usually on the same side, but why you were saying it's on the right side? So usually the it's on the right side as well. In this polymyalgia. Case, uh, I think the, it could be like related to the steroids. Could be a different cause, not necessarily. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 
Like, because I think they they won't necessarily give everything like, um, you know, in the te like a textbook case. So I think that one was would, would throw people off a little bit. Um, but that was just I was just go, go, you know um uh, going through this is the um is it, not this one is it. Okay, does polymyalgia cause the vision loss as well? No. Polymyalgia predisposed to get giant cell arthritis. Hmm. And then but if it is, loss. yeah, but if it's yeah. a giant cell, so it must be affected on the same side, right? Yeah, but then she's taking like steroids, so she could have developed a cataract on the other eye or hmm. uh, Okay. Yeah. So that, so that's what the case was. I mean, it was uh, in the right eye. Uh, and the mm. and the tenderness in the scalp was on the left side. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's um. But regardless, I think the fact that they've got uh, vision problems uh, with a likely giant cell arthritis. And actually, and to to be honest, it could it could happen in both eyes when you when you actually treat treat the giant cell arthritis is to save the other eye because it will progress in a week or so to the other eye. So you will go mm. blindness both sides. So it could it could happen anyway. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but I think the important point is that we don't need to know exactly what's going on. We just kind of mm -hmm. need to recognize when there's danger and then or any red flags and then um, uh, address those appropriately. By So in this case, it's worth doing steroids, whether it's related to the eye or not, it's worth doing them. So we don't really, you're not going to lose marks for not understanding the mechanism or like that. Or, I don't, and I don't think it's worth wasting your time thinking about that. Yeah, I think, you know, because this is kind of like, that's, I think with GPs as well, it's, it's always about trying to identify where the danger is and um, you don't, don't necessarily need to know the detail. Yeah. Uh, was there any other comments at all? Let's have a look at the, um, the notes. So... The brain tumor, subarachnoid hemorrhage, meningitis, migraine, cluster. I mean, these notes, they do give quite a broad list of differentials. And I think in this kind of exam scenario where you've only got eight minutes, you don't really have time to go through all these kind of differentials. But you did ask about the clusters of headache symptoms. You asked about migraine symptoms. You asked about photophobia. You asked about uh, eye symptoms, watery, uh, watery eyes and stuff. Um, uh, meningitis. I think, um, did you ask about fever and stuff like that? But you are yeah, photophobia, yeah. which kind of covers you both of those. I was, yeah, I was thinking photophobia would be meningitis, subarachnoid hemorrhage as well. So, all right, so it kind of covered you for your basis for all those three diagnoses. Diagnoses, yeah. yeah. So that's that's a good question. So when someone does present with headache, when you when you ask them about photophobia, you can almost exclude all three of them. Um, brain tumor. Yeah, but I'll yeah. definitely ask about fever. Yeah, which I didn't say. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you talked about eye examination, neurological examination, um, and 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 you did. You weren't afraid to, um, you know, tell them directly what you think this is and and tell them that it is a serious condition. Um, so always, if it is a serious condition, tell them that it is a serious condition. Um, I wouldn't shy away from it. Um, might be, uh, I don't know if you, did you explain the diagnosis? I said, I said it was an inflammation of the vessels, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, and that serious condition needs, serious, needs immediate treatment. Um, and you mentioned about taking a biopsy, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it was completely flawless, so I can't really, I don't think we can um, really comment. I think you should, um, should be doing these sessions for us and uh, giving us giving us some advice about how to do a, a history like that. So I wish, uh, I actually, I, I practice all, all the headaches, so I was more or less ready for whatever comes. So.